What's up guys, welcome to Rampage, it's time to play Pokemon Heart Gold Part 16. Last time, what we did. What did we do? What we did, really? <clears throat> Last time, we came to Mahogany Town, but before we arrived in Mahogany Town, we ran into Suicune again, along with Yuzine. And after we came to Mahogany Town, we went north all the way up here. And that took us to the Lake of Ridge, where we caught a Red Gyarados, and after catching the Red Gyarados, we met with Lance, we met Lance, and we decided to help him investigate this souvenir shop right here, so. Let's see if I want my party to be the way it is now. No, let's put Growlithe in front. So, Growlithe is now in front, and I guess I'm ready to go. <clears throat> Here's Lance. Dragonite Hyper Beam, whoa, this guy, whoa, Lance is going hard, wow, he, he, he's, he's like completely just bitching these guys, okay, so, ha, <laughs> wow, yes, Lance, Lance goes hard, anyway, so there seems to be a basement of some sort, so we're just gonna come down here, where the hell did Lance go, he was just there, the hell? Lance just disappeared. He just upped and left us. Probably he probably had an Abrin teleported or something. I don't know. Anyway, if we walk in front of these Persian statues right here, I forget what happens, so let's see. It looks like a alarm thing or whatever, and some Team Rocket members are gonna come running up to you wanting to battle. So those Persian statues are alarms. If you step in front of those, it will trigger some Team Rocket guys to come up here. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is about that. Let's just go for the Flame Wheel. And that takes out the Drowsy easy. But I don't get much experience from that. Oh well. Well, they're kind of under leveled, but whatever. It's all good. So anyway, actually I want to check my badges real quick after these trainers stop coming. Because I want to know if, um, I want to know if you were supposed to take on the Olivine gym before this gym. I mean, yeah, I want to know if you were supposed to take on the Olivine gym before or after this gym. Because I do think the Olivine gym leader has stronger level Pokemon than the gym leader here. And that's why I'm wondering that. I don't know. Anyway, here's a Rattata. I'm just going to go for the Flame Wheel. And, yeah. So that's cool. Please don't be another one. Okay, so, let's see, badges. Let's check the badges real quick. No, it says that Jasmine is the 6th gym leader. But Price, Price is weaker than Jasmine. Jasmine has a level 35 Steelix, and I think Price's strongest level Pokemon is either 32 or 33. So, I'm, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to check that real quick. Anyway, let's continue. And another statue, so let's go down here first. And there's another statue right there, so let's go down here again. And come all the way over here. Can I not get past this guy? Okay, I can. But he has to walk towards me first. Okay. That's cool, I guess. And the Magnemite, which I can probably take out with an Ember. Which I do take out with an Ember, so that's cool. Another Magnemite, which will probably die to an Ember. And another Magnemite that's most likely going to die to an Ember. So, yeah, that was pretty easy. Taking out those Magnemites. And let's get this item, which happens to be a Guard Spec. Useless, useless, useless. Anyway, let's just go now. I guess we'll go in front of one of those one of these Persian statues just to battle some trainers to get experience so I guess this is a good place that gets you some experience definitely if you have some lower level Pokemon Pokemon that are, that are about level 20 to 25 anyway we're just gonna go for the flame wheel hopefully it takes out the drowsy like it did last time and it does we go to level 28 and we get fire fang actually I think I want flame wheel over fire fang how much is fire fang? fire fang is 65 with 95 accuracy Wait, no, I'm gonna go back Don't give up on fire fang Yeah, no, I just want to keep flame wheel. Yeah, I think flame wheel is better than fire fang anyway 
Anyway, Zubat, let's go out into our Sean the Sheep. I mean, Cinnamon. Sean the Sheep's already at level 28, so we'll just send out Cinnamon and go for the headbutt. And yeah. So, next trainer, please. Okay, I wasn't going to escape anyway. And this person has a Zubat that no one cares about. I'm just going to go for the Flame Wheel. And easily take that out. Let's go out into Cinnamon. I wish Espeon had a psychic move, but it can't be helped right now. It still has Shadow Ball though, so that's not bad. And let's just go for the Headbutt on the Rattata. So now let's switch up our party and put Cinnamon in front now. Which is, you know, whatever. And get this item over here, which happens to be a Hyper Potion. So that's nice, nice, nice. And over here is another Persian statue. This is probably the way we're supposed to go. So I'm going to go over here first and see what's over here. I don't know. I just think that way was the way we're supposed to go. Maybe it's not though. Who knows? So all this Persian stuff again. Well, I've seen it all before. It's probably going to be the same Pokemon too. Freaking Drowsy Lead. Yup, yup, yup. Anyway, Headbutt should be enough to take this out, even though I have Shadow Claw, I could've just went for that. And let's just, let's just go for Headbutt again. And we're actually getting some pretty decent experience, not the best experience, but pretty decent. We're moving up there. Next is a Zubat, let's just go for the Headbutt. Next is a Rattata, let's just, I'm wasting too much Headbutt DP, so I'm gonna start using Shadow Claw and Quick Attack, probably. Well after this grammar just because I want to take that grammar out quickly and besides I'm already at level 28 no I don't want to learn slam because it's pretty useless and I still need to teach this thing strength I forgot all about that give up on slam no I wanted to give up on slam keep old moves give up on slam so now we can put Espeon in front where is my Espeon at and Espeon can go up front. I have not used my Fero in such a long time. It's because Fero was just being a complete boss over at the Sion Wood Gym that I haven't used it in so long. But after Espeon grows level, Fero will be back on the front lines pretty soon. So, yeah, rambling, but don't know why I brought that up. Anyway, Rattata, the one guy I can't use freaking Shadow Ball against, but I guess I'll just headbutt it and hopefully it takes it out. Which it does because Rattata's pretty weak. I'm gonna keep going for the headbutts just because I can't use Shadow Ball and I keep accidentally pressing N. Anyway, um, hold up, my phone's ringing. Gotta answer this real quick. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> if, I, if I was saying something earlier, I completely forget. So, anyway, here's another ride attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I was talking about the N button. How I always keep accidentally pressing it when I don't mean to because that button is for pausing and it's right next to the B button and I don't know why I would press the B button up oh, misclick I misclick anyway whatever just go for the headbutt and that's going to take out the Rattata next is another Rattata of course because that's all this guy has are, are Rattatas and we've taken them all out so let's come down here see what this is okay that's interesting I guess and here's the Geodude. Okay, whatever. I'll just go for the Shadow Ball and take that thing out easy. Here's a Poison thing. Poison type it looks like. So this is going to be a Coffin. Okay, I can just Shadow Ball this thing as well. Take it out. <clears throat> what is this going to be? Another Coffin? Okay, that's whatever. I can just go for the Shadow Ball again and take out the coffin pretty easily and okay so that's all of that and let's just take let's just take on these trainers from this Espeon statue I mean not Espeon from this Persian statue and speaking of Persians and cats and stuff I find it funny how Espeon's like the only cat like evolution out of all of them I mean like the other ones <clears throat> the other one that's kind of close to a cat I guess it would be Glaceon. Well, I guess Glaceon is also a cat. It's funny how those two are like the only cat ones. The other, the rest of them are clearly dogs. Clearly. 
or I don't know if they're dogs, but they're they're not cats. They're closer to dogs than cats. Only Espeon and what's his face? Espeon and Glaceon are the only ones that aren't. That was just a random rumblage point that I brought up. Anyway, Espeon grid level 28, which is nice. So now we can put for alligator in the front and after we take on this trainer real quick and destroy the Zubat with a headbutt let's put for alligator in front even though these Pokemon aren't very strong at all but whatever experience is experience I probably could have just taken that thing out with water gun and it is thundering like a motherfucker outside so yeah I hope you guys don't hear that but you probably can because it's a little loud I think there's another statue over here. But I don't even feel like battling these trainers again. So I'm not going to take on that last statue over there. Yeah, nope, not going to deal with that statue. It's no point. So, well, it probably is a point, but I don't want to. And there goes Lance with his Dragonite. So this is where he was. And like, I don't know how he got here so fast with all those goddamn statues and trainers around. And he's going to be nice and heal up my guys, which is pretty cool. So let's just continue to explore. What do you need for this? The radio transmitter. It seems that the that this door checks the voice of the person saying the password before it opens. Okay. Anything down here? Okay, that's the way I'm supposed to go. So let's battle this trainer first. Have cr Crocon... Did I say Croconaw before? I think I said for alligator. But if I said Croconaw, I meant for alligator. Have for alligator destroy this guy real quick. He has a venonat. I have surf. And that should take out the venonat pretty easily. Another venonat, another surf should take it out pretty easily. Which it does, and yeah, so that's cool. Now let's go battle this guy. See what he has to say. Okay, so what do you have? You have a Golbat. That's interesting. Let's go for the Ice Fang. And it takes out the Golbat in one hit. So that's nice. For Alligator, it's almost level 32. So then I can start using other guys after For Alligator goes level 32. And there goes our buddy Lance again. And in order to unlock the door to the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. The name of the person is Petrel, the Team Rocket Executive. I found out he is hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately, though, that room is also protected with a password. Rampage, we need the password to their leader's office first. Okay, so it seems like we just have to go through a lot to go through that door. Oh, so he's strong, huh? Well, I bet I could beat you too. And there's two passwords, this guy just said. Wow, looks like a whole bunch of people to battle, even though it's only two. Okay, this person doesn't know the password, so she's of no use. But we can still take her out. And she has an Atkins, that's whatever. I have a Surf with your name on it, so you can eat it. Next is a Gloom, we'll just stay in even though our attack got lowered. We still have a super effective Ice Fang, which manages to take out the Gloom. So, yeah. Now let's put um, Sean the Sheep, our Flaffy, in front. And hopefully it won't be a Flaffy for too long. Hopefully I can get another electric move on this thing. If I got discharge on this Flaffy, it would be so much more powerful than it is now. But anyway, not going to dwell into that. We're just going to go for the Thunder Shock and almost take it out. But he gets static, ha static hexed, which is nice. Another coughing. We're just going to go for the Thunder Shock. These coffins are actually giving out a decent amount of experience compared to the other guys that I've been battling so far. And I think there's an item up here, so let's get it. <clears throat> and we got a full heal, so that's nice. Full heals are pretty cool. And there goes some stairs right there. We're not going to go there just yet, because we want to explore this this floor first. And here's TM49 Snatch. Not going to be using this. And yeah. So what is this part over here? Please don't have any electric type Pokemon, please, no Magnemites, no Electrodes or Voltorbs or anything like that, and he has a Ditto, so it's just Thundershock, do as much damage as possible right now, go for the T-Wave, and 
just go for the Thunder Shock again. You know, it's not doing much. I don't want to get paralyzed. And I got paralyzed. And he's faster than me. What? Anyway, I take him out. But I do have some full heals and full heals and full heals. So I have 16 full heals. So I'm not worried about being paralyzed right now. Anyway, anything else over here? Here's another rocket person. But here's two Pokeballs. And one's a protein, which is nice. We can use that on, like, for alligator or something. And here's an X special, which isn't nice because those suck. Anyway, let's battle this person. Okay, so this person knows a password, so we have to definitely beat her up. Nothing personal, we just want that damn password from you. And I freaking flinched! Okay, whatever. We take out the Raticate and grab the level 29. Get Discharge! Damn it. I think she said Raticate Tail. So, one password is password is Raticate Tail. Let's switch up the party and put Kenya up front. Now let's put Espeon up front. And, uh... Yeah. What do I want to do now? Oh yeah, I want to heal up. They give a soda pop to Sean the Sheep. So we're looking good now. And we can go on to this upstairs level that we didn't go to before. So what's up here? Anything over here? Nope, nothing over there. Um Okay. Long hallway. See what you have to say. So you're gonna eliminate me, huh? Bring it on, bro. Anyway, let's see what he has. He has a rat attack. Okay, I can just headbutt this. And it's going to take it out pretty easily. Next is a Zubat. And just Shadow Ball this. And that's a dead Zubat. Next is another rat attack, which I can just headbutt again. And I think I just saw lightning from the corner of my eye, so. It's about to be a pretty bad storm, I guess, but whatever. I'm a big boy now, so I, I can deal with storms. There goes Shithead. I wonder if I have to battle him. I mean, that Shithead, Shitbag. I'm sorry. Um. Um. Okay, I don't care. Well, you don't love and trust your Pokemon. You freaking stole the Pokemon. Of course you don't love and trust them. Dumbass. Get away. Anyway. Let's just get this item. Ultra Ball. Okay, so do I need two passwords for this as well? Oh, I do have two passwords. I thought I thought I only had one. Well, since that looks like where we have to be, let's come up here first. See what's up here. I think it's not really anything much except an item. Yeah, it's only an item up here, which happens to be TM46 Thief. Not useful at all. So, yeah, we can just go back to where that one guy is and pretty much destroy him. And who is this guy's name again? Petrel? We've been waiting for you, so you are Rampage. Me? You don't know who I am? It is me, Giovanni, the majestic Giovanni himself. Wah ha ha ha. Huh? I don't sound anything like Giovanni? I don't even look like Giovanni? How come? I've worked so hard to mimic him. Well, how would I know? I don't think I've ever come into contact with Giovanni before, so... I don't know how I would know, but anyway, this guy is like... Well, since there's no Giovanni in this game... Well, there is there is Giovanni in a certain event, but there's not really any Giovanni in the main plot. This guy is pretty much the leader of Team Rocket in this game, I think. And we have to battle him now. So, we're just going to destroy him real quick. He has a level 22 Zubat. We have a... Level 28 Espeon with Shadow Ball that's going to take that thing out easy. He's going to bring out Eradicate. Let's actually switch out. Go out into Kenya. Kenya, Kenya. Let's go into Kenya. And, oh yeah, Kenya's close to getting the level, so that's good. Let's just go for the Aerial Ace. And it's a 2 KO. Hyper Fang, that's not going to do too much. So, Agility. Nah, nah. And next is a Coughing. Let's just go back out into Espeon. Let me take this thing out with a shadow ball. And yeah, so that was pretty easy. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, our Giovanni has been missing. 
So yeah, Giovanni has been missing since three years ago, and this guy's pretty much in charge of Team Rocket, I guess. Anyway, let's see what this Murkrow is doing over here. Okay, you guys had to appear that thunder. Like, there, there's no way. That, that thunder was way too loud. Anyway, it seems as though that Murkrow was mimicking Petrel, so... Let's just go follow that Murkrow and try and catch it or something. Something of the sort, and there it goes. <clears throat> the password is Hail Giovanni. Okay. So it looks like we have to just lure that Murkrow back to the one door so that we can... What's this called? use it to open it with because he copied Petrel's voice and the password so we can pretty much just use Murkrow to get into the door is what I'm trying to say and here it is okay Murkrow I've heard you say the password is Hell Giovanni like 15,284 times already gosh and it's lagging for some reason don't know why okay so Looks like there's some pretty fun stuff to do over here. Ariana. This looks like to be another Team Rocket big shot. So if we take her out, we shouldn't have any problems. So, oh, here comes Lance. Yeah, you guys are trying to jump me. Well, my man Lance got my back. So we're just going to pretty much destroy you now. Because he has a fucking Dragonite. There's no way you can win. He has a Dragonite. Anyway, um... Okay, Arbok and Drowsy. Okay, I can Shadow Ball the Drowsy. And you can just do something to the Arbok that I don't care about. So let's go for the Shadow Ball on the Drowsy. And he's going to go for the Fly. And now he has a Grimer. I can just Shadow Ball that as well. Or not because he's going to take it out. Swift? Sure, why not? Um, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Headbutt not need it too much anymore and that shadow ball actually did a nice chunk we're just going to go for it again and he's actually going to take it out with a thunder here's a murkrow though let's just go for the iron tail even though he's probably going to take that out with a thunder oh no pursuit that other hey you better not miss this time because if you did why would you go for the twister well even though you took him out i'm kind of upset and i'm still getting freaking para hacks what the hell fucking a if I, what? Parahax again? Oh my! I fucking hate this game. I hate this game. I got Parahax like four times in a row. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we defeated those losers. So basically, over here, there's a fuck ton of electrodes that we're gonna just have to take out so we can stop this generator or whatever this thing is. This contraption, contraption, contraption. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to have to take out three electrodes, so let's do that. Let's let's use Ferret and Arcanine, even though it's not an Arcanine, it's a Growlithe that I call Arcanine. So yeah. So electrode number one. Only level 23, so that's not too bad. Let's go for the Flame Wheel, Spark, don't paralyze me. And roll out, that's not going to take me out. And yeah. So let's go battle this next electrode, electrode number two. And let's go for the flame wheel. He's going to light screen, that's whatever, since I don't since I don't plan on using special moves. And of course he would get a crit on me. Huh. Anyway, let's go out and two for it now, I guess. And go for the headbutt a lot on this last electrode. So, yeah, let's just headbutt and spark. Of course, it's going to paralyze me, and let's just headbutt again. And we've taken out the electrode. So, that's all of them. Let's meet up with Lance, and hopefully I took all mine out before he took his out. Ha, I won. I won. And the odd signal has been stopped, so the lake should turn back to normal. I am the best. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh, yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. I think he's going to give us, like, Waterfall or Water... Not Waterfall. Whirlpool or Waterfall or something. I don't know. I think this is Whirlpool. So, yeah, he's going to give us Whirlpool. 
Did this say HMO5 or TMO5? I think Whirlpool is the HM in this gen. So, yeah. Okay, so we're pretty much done here in this Team Rocket place. So let's use our Growlithe to dig us out of here. And I can't use Dig, so it looks like I'm going to have to get an escape route. Um, where's this escape rope at? And I can't use the freaking escape rope either, so that sucks. I'm going to have to manually get myself out of here. And, yeah. No, go left. Okay. Teleport. To the front. Oh, where am I going? And now we can just get out of here. Iron. See what you have to say. Rampage, howdy. It's Ian, how are you? Hey, hey, listen up. A few days ago, I was trying to catch a wild drowsy. We went down to the wire, but it ended up getting away. I really should have had a bunch of Pokeballs ready, I know. I don't care. I, in fact, I think you told me that before. Gosh. I just want people to give me stuff. Hold up, didn't this tree have bushes before? I'm pretty sure it did. Anyway... So it looks like the gym's open up now. We'll be dealing with that in the next episode. I'm pretty much going to end it here, seeing as though it's lagging. So, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you did, please push that like button. Also, leave a comment. I do enjoy your comments. And I will see you guys in the near future. I hope you all have... Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And this is Rampage here. Signing out. It's been a pleasure.